Low reports. McCartney recorded the song behind closed doors, but he had this message of comfort for the people of Liverpool. Well, you know, I mean, we're going to just do whatever we can to help the suffering. There's not a lot we can do, you know, we're just going to do every little bit we can. The Beatles and Liverpool Football Club rose to fame together in the 60s. And for record producer Pete Waterman... Paul, good morning. Welcome to the store. Good morning, Michael. First of all, you're saying just now about your kids could never get through. Maybe this morning we can organise it for you or something. Yes, they keep ringing, but they can never get through. No? I often wonder, whenever you do an Abbey Road shot like that, how do you get the road empty enough? Do you have to go and do those at the dead of night? Well, it was done at night, but uh, it was, it's called a pushy American director. Which is what happens. He just says, close the road. And can all you the... do that? No, I can't, but he, <laughs> he could. You know, he's pushy. And all the taxi people go, beep, beep, what's all this then? You know, close the road. Not allowed, is it? I read a story in the paper, I think, last week, that, that it was so cold you had to put paper down the floor or something? Yeah, what it was, was Dan Aykroyd, the fellow on the left there, decided to do the bare feet thing, which I'd done on yeah, the cover yeah. of Abbey Road. And actually, he, he wasn't bothered at all, but the technicians and stuff kept putting phone books underneath him to keep his feet warm. <laughs> Great. I think got some questions from the gang back here who've come all the way down questions? here. Questions? Yeah. Good. Hey, we got, Vicky? Would you like to start? Um, was it hard making Spies Like Us for the film when the title was already given to you? Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> was it making the song, you mean, from the title? Yeah, it is pretty difficult to do that, actually, yeah. But uh, what I did was uh, I got the director to show me the film and I liked it and so I kind of just wrote a song with the spirit of the film in it and I got this idea that nobody else spies like us. Brilliant idea! <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, it wasn't too hard, but it, it's not as easy as normal songs, because you just make all of those up from so, scratch. So you sort of looked at it from the other way around, rather than go spies like us, you thought, how can I make something out of the title? Yeah, I wanted to just make something a little bit different, so I put in this nobody else spies like us. Using it as a verb, right. instead of a noun. <laughs> <laughs> had lots of practice, though. You've had lots of practice. Right, we've got another one, Vicky. Yeah, Emma, you've got a question, haven't you? I'm taking five exams next year. Were you good at exams? What'd you say, then? I'm taking five exams next, next year. year. Um, were you good at exams? Um, I was medium at them. Uh, I should have studied more, you know. I was one of these fellows who kind of just went in last minute and just tried to remember what they told me all year. Um, have you seen the computer that we had in earlier? Have you seen it? No. Um, it is absolutely amazing. It's really good, isn't it, at teaching you maths, because you can actually see things like coins and things like that. Oh, yeah. The, They're very screen. confusing, though, if you haven't been brought up on computers. I mean, all this lot are very brilliant at computers, aren't you? Yes, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nod. Nod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got any more questions there? Right, um, we've got another question from Karen, haven't you? Karen? Did you learn music in school? Yeah, I learned it in school, but I was no good at it, because they kept playing stuff I didn't really like. You know, they'd say, this is music, and I'd be listening to sort of records I liked on the radio and stuff. And uh, I'd be trying to write little songs, and they'd be sort of saying, do, 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 you know. And I'd, I must admit, I got a bit bored with all of that, so uh, I was never very good at school. I failed it in school. Did you actually learn more yes. out of school? Did no you... wonder, said some people. <laughs> Did you learn more out of school? Like yes, when you went I home and played the guitar at home, you learned a lot more? A lot more, more, a lot more, yeah. Every time I tried to uh, take ordinary lessons, I couldn't really uh, relate to these little dots on paper because it was all in my mind. I could sort of hear right. it all, but I couldn't, you know, so I, could, I learned to play by ear. I think nowadays, it shows. This is the one, <laughs> the very ear. I think nowadays kids are encouraged more maybe to take their instruments to school. Do any of you lot do that? Do you take your instruments to school? No. No? They won't let us, Mike. <laughs> We're not allowed to. No. Have we time for one more quick question? Of course yes, we have. So many. Question, yes. Christine, you've got one, haven't you? Do you listen to classical music when you're at home? Well, in truth, I never used to, but since I've got into music and become a musician myself, I, I'm much more interested in it now. At first, I used to think it was a bit posh. Classical <laughs> music was for sort of the posh people and rock and roll was for the ordinary people. But, uh, yeah, I do listen to it now a little bit and I appreciate it more now than I ever have done. Mm. My dad actually used, actually used to switch it off when it came on the radio. <laughs> no, he didn't hate it, it was just, oh, you know, that's not our kind of If you don't of understand it, you don't, yeah. He you just turned it off, yeah. you know, so I didn't hear much as a kid. Mm. But I do like it now. It can help me that maybe in your writing, can't it, by absorbing classical stuff. No, not just you well, steal from it, but I mean, it gives you ideas. Yes, it's, uh, it's great stuff to have hung around that long, you know. Yeah. So there's great melodies and stuff. 
Okay. It's calls to Paul on 01811 if you have a question of your yes, own. Yes, we have. Some, we'll Rupert Might Bear we, badges. Can we have one more question? Can we have so one more many. question? Yes, Let's just not have one more question. Right, come on, Simon, it's you've got almost like. Yeah. Which, um, which record did you enjoy making most? Which record did I enjoy making the most? Um, well, that's really a hard question because I've made a lot of records, but, the, <laughs> but there was one song on an LP called Sergeant Pepper, it's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yeah. Have you got that record? Got that. Brilliant man at the back here. Hey. Wonderful. Uh, Annie's from Northampton. Yeah. Um, Which is your favourite track on there? See if it's the same one. Um, I like Say Day in the Life. What, what's your no, favourite? No, go on, what's your um, I like uh, the first one, Sergeant Pepper's Only Heart. Right. Well, there's a, there's a big song on it where we used a great big orchestra and it's called Day in the Life. And that was quite exciting to record, you know. It's fascinating the way you had two bits of songs there, maybe your bit and John's bit, and they went together and everyone assumed they just fitted as a song but were written separately, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, we often used to do that, you know. It didn't always work. You'd sometimes bring two songs that just went yeah. yucky together, but at that time it just seemed to slot in. Just lucky, I what guess. About the, 30, the 30 grand pianos in there, which is great. Well, that was the idea for the kind of last big chord. We had a big chord, da 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 bam, and we wanted to, uh, you know, put yeah. millions of pianos just doing this one chord. Good, it worked out quite oh, one. Nicely. Eight double one eight zero five five. You have a call uh, for Paul, who's going to be around the store, coming on the pop panel, and giving away fab Rupert Bear badges in here. That's all later on. Now it's time to go over to Sarah. Welcome back to Lynn. Let us just drag you away. <laughs> yes, that's right. Look over this way now. Yes. Let's put yep. So what animals have you got at home? Millions. Because we live on a farm, so we've got uh, dogs and we've gone cat mad this year. How many cats you got? Oh, too many. <laughs> what happened is, you know, the we brought a little kitten down from Scotland who's called Scotty. Right. Scotty, this is for my kids here. If we watch. Scotty. Hi kids. Who's Can I watching? say hello yeah, to my kids? Go on, why not? I say hello. Heather, Mary, Stella, and James, and all their friends. <laughs> Sue and Natasha well. and everybody. <laughs> have you got any clothes? Have you got any clothes? Oh, God, you haven't let that crow in again, have you? Yeah, I apologize for this. We've got lots of crows down by us, yeah. <laughs> so, go on, what else? You've got, you've got one cat. Yeah, I thought he would have. Uh, yeah, Scotty. a lot of crows, and you know, cat and uh, Scotty, she had a litter, and she had five ginger tomcats. What? Five ginger toms she had, and then she had another litter. By surprise. So we're overrun with cats at the moment. And you've got horses They're great. and dogs and everything? Yeah, we've got, Linda likes horses a lot, you know, so we, we've got a few horses there and I have a little nice. ride occasionally. Yes. Oh, lovely. lovely. I love it. Hey, listen, we're, the real reason we're down here is for the silly sound. So the fanfare, please. <laughs> okay, pick up a phone. Ow. All you've got to do is say whether they're right or they're wrong. wrong. Have a listen right. to the sound. Here it comes. <laughs> to get this one. Go um, get that. Yeah, we go Gotta to line go. five. Who's there? Hello? Hello? Hello. Who are you? Rami. Oh, yeah. What do you think it could be? Is it somebody putting water or something in their mouth and they're gargling? Oh, yes. Yes. Brilliant. Too Brilliant. easy. Too Too easy. Paul will now demonstrate. This is, this is how it is done. <laughs> no, you haven't got get to do it. Get out of here. You're drunk from that. I'm not having that. <laughs> all right. I can see you on the way to you. Thanks very much for calling. Thank you. Right, you can put your phone Bye down. Man. I knew they'd get it. An that easy was exciting. One that was a great yeah. All right, Post like card one coming up in a little while. Yeah, Paul yeah. will also be around if you want to give him a call. 018 8055. He's fantastic. Think you're too old. We'll stop dialing it. They can never get through. No, they can't get. They've given up. But don't give up. Try and ring. <laughs> okay. That's all from us. In the meantime, hey, have you seen the exchange board? Yeah, with old Chris Ballinger in front of it. That's right. I thought he looked very good. Yeah. Vicky's in charge of this this week. All right, Vicks, where are you? Stunning episode of that next week. We've got the pop panel assembled here. We're going to have a go at three videos. The first one coming up is the new one from Mike Oldfield. The single and the video. After we've seen it, they want to uh, hear the comments on the panel. This one. What about you? Can you spot a hit? No. No. Hopeless. No. Hopeless. Um, I thought it was very good. I don't normally like a lot of the special effects that they do. You know, it normally kind of puts me off a bit. But I thought these were quite good. And I like the song. I think it should be a hit. OK, out of five? Out of five, I'll give it five. Oh, yeah, well, right. Lynn. Who's that old? Lynn. I thought it was an investment for double glazing. But well, I, I, like... I wonder what Ted Malt was doing in there for a second. <laughs> I, I like the song. But you do? I, I thought the video, that maze bit made me feel a bit sick. So with your pullover, you'd have fished in there quite nicely, I thought, wouldn't you? You'd have blended in. Oh, she was much nicer. <laughs> Philip. I think uh, the bit that we saw is excellent. Once you see a little bit of it, it's all right. I think it goes on a little bit after a while. Um, Alan's voice is fantastic. I think any word that he's put really sort of suits him. But 
I don't know whether anyone who's not a Mike Oldfield fan would ever be won over by this one. It's not the sort of thing that's going to stop anyone in their tracks. Yes, good point. Yes. Okay, that's Mike Oldfield, Pictures in the Dark. Uh, the second one is the new single from Sting. This is Russians, the video and the song. The video, but the song was, yeah. Yes. Paul. Oh. Um, I like the song. I like, uh, at this stage of sort of world politics, I like to see people coming out and sort of saying the Russians are just like us and they love their children too. So I think that's a very powerful idea. And I hope it's a hit because of that. I think the video was a little bit iffy, but I like the song. Good, Paul, what about you on the video? Well, what would you have done different to it if you... No, I think, the, I think the video's fine. I think this... Uh... <laughs> you, I guess, video. Yes, uh, I agree. You know, I, I like Slade. <laughs> I like the fabulous group, and I love Nobby. Noddy. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, there is a little bit of a danger, you know, everyone sort of, all these miracle pieces and sort of all that. Uh, like Paul was saying, you know, I think everyone does love their children, everyone knows about that. But I'm, I'm glad to see it because I think we need reminding, you know, when Gorbachev and Reagan get together, I think the world does worry that there is going to be sort of trouble and I think it's nice for someone to say, look, you know, there's miracles, there's peace and we can... So I'm glad to see it and I like Slade, so I think it'll be a hit. Especially Nobby. Especially right. Nobby. Styles. Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> I don't think Nobby looks that old. I think Nobby's been really unkind. Um, I think it's a really... I made a mince pie now, I'll think of, think of uh, Slade. Nobby. <laughs> <laughs> mince pies right. like us. <laughs> yeah, mince pies like oh, us. Oh, 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 yeah, missed it. Oh, sorry, I've been thinking of that all week. <laughs> <There'll> be <a laughs> <parody. laughs> don't, there'll be an Orville parody next Listen, year, won't there? They that's, got, that's what, yes, we're doing that next year. Haven't yeah. they got two singles out this Christmas, Slade? Yes, the Merry Christmas always comes out. So I in. wonder what's going to happen with that, you know, which one... They'll both sell. Double. They'll both sell. Double. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, they'll be on in a couple of weeks. Right now, thanks to the panel, time to get out of the warehouse and see what the gang are up to. Now well, yes. Hey, yes, welcome down. You to would the come warehouse. down to the warehouse, like but they're just getting a camera. Okay. Uh, uh, down the stairs, no. get it down the stairs. No, get down the stairs. Down the yes. Lower it down. Give them a round of applause. I know. Oh, oh, that's why you were in the thing on my hand. <laughs> oh, sorry, she's, oh, no, what, no, no, she's no, hoping no. for a kiss. Yes, Hang Paul on. is upstairs and he's on the phone with Mike. Hey. Right. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, Keith and the gang down there. Well, Christmas on the way very shortly. Are you, are you preparing for Christmas at all this year? Yes, yes, that's that's right. Right. I'm already oh, doing. Hello, hello. Two hello. under the one mistletoe. Well, Mickey and I have been following him around all morning very no. nervously, well, you know, like you do. And we decided that we'd come in right now and just say, Pre Christmas. It's, it's a Are we having one, right? he's... Oh, 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 well, they are the My Christmas, big chance there. The Christmas spirit already <laughs> abounding. I was going to say, is it a problem for you at Christmas with knowing more and more people? Do you still sit down and write cards? Yes, well, I do it with Linda. You know, you always try and rope the lady in to do the hard work. Mm. Yes, I write uh, the cards, yeah, and do all my shopping. All the traditional stuff? Yes, I think it wouldn't be the same if you didn't. I don't and you still buy each other a little something. Do you get, do you get funnier presents each year? No, do serious, was, real, oh, real prezzies. It's got to be real prezzies, yes, definitely. Do you have any traditions? I'm a, I'm a like, last yeah. minute. Really? Kind of fella, yeah. I, I always leap out the last minute, uh, having forgotten all the great ideas I had all year, you know. Do you make a list? No, I just go to a certain place and just go leap around buying everything that I think is good presents, you know. Yeah, good idea. Right, well, there's more questions on the phones. So I know those people want to talk to you. If I'm going to grab that one, we have Melissa Hunt. Hello, Melissa. Hello. Where are you calling from? Mansfield. From where? Mansfield. From Mansfield. Mansfield. You're Alvin Stardust country. Uh, it is. Uh, Hello. Uh, um, did you watch the John Lennon programme last night? Yes, I did. Yes. Did you? What did you think of it? Well, actually, I thought it was a little bit incomplete because I think it just showed one side of him, yes. uh, the kind of serious side of him, you know, and it's a rather um, painful side of him. And there was really a lot more to him than that, and he was actually a lot of fun, and he did have a lot more fun than the programme showed him having. But uh, I thought... Bernard Hill, Yaza was very good, you know, he's a great actor. So I kind of liked the show, but I thought it was a bit incomplete. Yeah, Mum wouldn't let me watch it because there was some swearing in it, so... And there was a lot of swearing, quite right, too. Yeah. It was too late for you as well. Uh, and can you say hello to my mum, please, because she's... Yeah, what's your mum's name? Kate. Kate? Yeah. Hello, Kate. Uh, thank you. Thanks for your call. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, bye. 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 But it was a bit arty, wasn't it, the programme last year? It was very yes. much an art form thing. I think so. You know, it was an interesting thing to try. I like to see stuff about 
uh, people like John, you know, obviously it interests me. Right. But uh, I thought that it could have been a bit more fun. Showed a okay. bit more fun. Kim too. Webb, hello. Hello. Hi, Kim, where are you calling from? Mitchum. From Mitchum in Surrey. Yes. Robert. Um, hello, Paul. Hello. Um, would you ever star in any pantomimes? Would I? I haven't actually been asked to star in a pantomime. But if I got a very good offer, I might. Make me an offer. <laughs> I don't know. What would you like to see me in pantomime as? What do you think I could be? Um, I don't really know. What about buttons? <laughs> about buttons. That's been done. Paul, Paul's done that. Dick How about Whittington. Widow Twanky? Pardon? Widow Twanky. I don't know him. Do you know the dame that gets a... <laughs> you don't know him? No. He's terrific. <laughs> what about Paul in Boots or something like that? Oh. Yeah. All right. What would you like to star in? Um, Cinderella. Think. Cinderella, yes. Yeah. That's right, yeah. All right. You can play the shoe. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. <laughs> Thanks for your call. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. And Angela Comer on the line. Hello, Angela. Hello. You're not a hairdresser, are you? No. It's no, Comba. Right. You pronounced it wrong. Oh, Comba. Comba, yes. Sorry. It's not asleep. Hello, Paul. Hello, Angela. Which today's pot groups do you think are the most talented? Where? In England or in America? Or well, everywhere? Everywhere. Anywhere. Um, I like UB40 a lot. Do you? Yeah. And I like Tears for Fears a lot. I like Scritty Politti. And I like the Talking Heads from America. Mm. Can you blend Do you like in? any of those? Yeah, I like anyone who's got a good voice and good music. I like them. Yeah. And you, of course. Ooh. Can you blend me and my mum a kiss? Because I think you're lovely. Oh, dear. Yeah. OK, here we go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. OK. Thanks. Bye. 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 Do your kids bring home music and play them to you that you haven't heard? Yeah. And, and say, what about that? Yeah, sure, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, they do, yeah. Who do they like? They spot things. Well, I mean, at the moment, they like that aha. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. They like the video a lot. Uh, they like King, Depeche Mode. They'll kill me if I don't get it right. They like a lot of them. Right. And Giovanni Tomazzoli, right? No, oh. Giovanna Tomazzoli. How? how? Giovanna. 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 Giovanna, see. Hey, sorry. Oh, You're through to Paul. Okay, Paul. So, yeah. Um, do you miss the old days? Do I miss the old days? Um, not really, you know, I have happy memories of the old days but I don't really miss them because I've got a completely different kind of life now because I'm a dad and I've got kids now which I didn't have then so it's just a different kind of life but I'm I'm certainly as happy but in a different kind of way now with my kids and stuff so I don't really miss the old days but I remember them with fondness okay okay thanks for your call okay, bye. bye bye and Sarah Gray I can manage that one Sarah good morning Hello. Where are you calling from? Wembley. From Wembley, just up the road. You're through to Paul. Yeah. If you could be someone else, who would you most like to be? Sarah Gray. Yeah. That's who I would like to be. Oh. If there's this girl called Sarah Gray. She's really terrific. And if I could be anyone, that's who I'd like to be. Oh. And if you believe that, you believe anything. No, seriously, who would I like to be? Um, I don't think I would want to be anyone else, actually, but if I had to be someone else... Oh, 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 oh. What about an historical character? Or? What about a historical character? It doesn't matter if they're living or dead. No. Nope. Well, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a, a go at Elvis before he went in the army. I thought he was great then. The army didn't help, I don't think. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't mind him being Elvis when he, when he was young and did Heartbreak Hotel. Oh, okay. Could I have a signed photograph, please? Yeah, certainly. Of Mike Reed? Yeah. Okay. No! <laughs> I know. No. Okay. I'm already kidding. I'm already kidding you. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. We'll do that. Thanks. We'll sort it out for you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Right. Bye -bye. Okay. We'll take some more calls in a second, but I know you brought a bargain with you. Yes, Your bargain time. Away. Yes, indeed. Well, first of all, we've got the big poster that you're going to get out there. There's a, there's a little group of posters there, first of all. That little one. That's I'll a do. little one. I'll do the big one. Group of poster. Then there's this is the big one. A big one. And then there's a spies like a sweatshirt, never worn by human hand. It's very nice. There's a, a book what I done once, which has got some songs and drawings and things of mine in it. Oh, that's lovely. Which is all very, very flash and signed and that. Oh, okay. And then there's a Rupert Annual. Really, that's the 50th anniversary one, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, 
What, what fascinated me in this was that when you look at the 30s and the 40s, as soon as you go up to the 80s, Rupert starts looking a little bit different, doesn't he? Well, they have different artists yeah. through the years, and um, I think the, the best for me was Alfred Bestall, but he's, he's now sort of 91, I think. So they have to have younger artists taking over, and I don't think they've quite got the hang of it. Although they do a great job. But I love the colours. I didn't get on that. The old, the old block colours and the characters in Rupert I've always found really fascinating. They're the sort yeah. of thing you actually want to tear out and stick up on a wall or something, aren't they? They're wonderful. Well, you can't. You just have to, have to leave them to. in the book. Right. And then we've got two Rupert videos. Which has actually become a bestseller now, isn't it? This is, yes, yeah, it's going crazy. It's, I think it's supposed to have sold more than Raiders of the Lost Ark. Which is saying something. Are you going to make that into a full-length film? Uh, I'd love to make a full-length animation feature, but it, there's a lot of work involved, so I'm going to be th thinking seriously next year of getting involved great. with that. Isn't I'd it? love to do it, yeah, but it's a very hard job. There is a 12-inch of Spies Like Us. What, it's, it's got, got a picture forever, on it. Yes, oh, there's more gifts here. Well, this is for the winner here. There's a Rupert record. And there's a diary, What My Missus Done, which Linda's photograph diary. It's got all sorts of photos. And the Linda Mole diary. The Linda Mole diary, this is it. Yours for only 50p. Super. So that's and you've got it. a question for all this stuff. And the question is, what school did I leave to join the Beatles? Now, I know my son's got it written down at home, so write in quick, James. <laughs> Right, and you can address it to Saturday Superstore, BBC Television, London W12 8QT, there's the address, you know all the prizes, big bundle of them, including his enormous posters, and the question once more, just in case they didn't get it. Is, what school did I leave to join the Beatles? Right, there we are. Good luck, we've got time for one quick call, I think, on here, and it is Fiona Brassington. Hello, Fiona. Hello. Hi, Hello. Fiona. A quick call to Paul. When writing a song, what to write first, the music or the lyrics? You, you do it um, lots of different ways. I find normally the music is easiest for me and then words come second. But if you do it the same way all the time, it gets boring. So you try and change it each time. So sometimes words, sometimes music. Oh, can you wave to your mum, please? Because she thinks it's great. I'm waving to all the mums this morning. Hi, mums everywhere. And can especially Fiona. Yeah, please? Yeah, okay. sure. I better say hello to our kids, mum, too. Hi, Lynn. And can you wave to my mum as well? Then, yeah, mum? Hi, mum's everywhere, right. all over the okay. world. That's it. <laughs> all right, thanks for your call. Thank my you. granny's Bye. got your record. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Super. Wonderful. Paul, thank you very much for coming and seeing thank us. Thank you, Mike. We're going to be seeing Rupert lovely. and the Frog Chorus in a minute, so don't go away, because if you haven't seen it, it's fab. And if you have, you know you want to see it again. Next week, who's on next week, gang? Yes. Yeah, next Bala. week, we've got uh, Les Dennis, yeah. Justin G, Delia Smith, <laughs> Snowmen. Play won't be here laughing. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> Maggie and I are uh, performing at Olympia. By the way, a very big thank you to everybody here. The EastEnders will be here, too. But from all of us here... Bye-bye. Thank you. Well done, John. Oh, and we will lead into it with a... Boom, 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 bo